Hi everybody, just wanted to do a really quick video about the DAISY Update 1.26 and how it could well make the Steam Deck the perfect device for playing mobile PC DAISY. Um, and the reason for that is the Steam Deck um, has these extra touch pads here and here which you can use to emulate the mouse and also has lots of buttons on the back that you can add things to which gives it an advantage over other devices however its big problem used to be the fact that because it's running um, Steam OS which is based on Linux it wasn't compatible with the DAISY launcher so it couldn't handle mods properly so you either had to play without the DAISY launcher so that you would just play vanilla DAISY and or you would have to do this workaround, which would mean that um, things would have worked. Now, it's not perfect. So, for example, you get this error sometimes. Now, when you get this error, when you go into your mods, it will probably say they're not there. Right. OK, so if that happens, just shut it down. Got my Steam Deck's really dusty, isn't it? And then jump into it again. Um, now, obviously, you've got to be careful with the storage on your Steam Deck because lots of the more advanced PC mods take up an awful lot of space. Um, and, you know, we only have limited storage, don't we? Um, I will do a, a better video about how that kind of works. But So if we go into mods now, we should see that the bit of luck, they're all there, which is good. They've all been downloaded, which is nice. So if we go into servers, and what I'll do is if I pick uh, Spaggies, where have we got? Chernerus, Chernerus. We don't want one of them, do we? Let's go to something a bit better. Make that bigger. Spaggies in the mouth. There we go. So, so as you can see, mods, it's, it's difficult to see, but we've got eight, so we can just join that. So, Namask, I think we probably all agree. Set up DLCs and join. Namask, quite a, quite a big mod, quite a complicated mod to, to, to run. Um, I've done testing using... Like vanilla plus um, plus, sorry, um, Zomberry, oh, and, and that worked fine. But what you should see here is obviously we've got a little bit of a load time. But the beauty as well about the Steam Deck is that it, as a piece of hardware, it's very, very nice indeed. Um, it's all put together incredibly well, and this OLED screen is very, very nice. It could be do it could. Could be better if it was variable refresh rate, but but it's very nice and it runs day it runs Daisy or vanilla Daisy anyway because I played a lot of Daisy vanilla Daisy very well on it. Another catch though is that because Daisy doesn't have proper gamepad support, you will need to use a custom um, Steam input template. Now you can search in the Steam templates, and if you search for Scale Speeder, you may well find my one that I've created. Um, whereby uh, it's gamepad, it's basically console gamepad uh, settings. Um, right, okay, so it's dark, unfortunately. So what we'll do is get our inventory out, and let's grab that to our hands, and let's fire the... T there we go. And here we are, first person only. Can we see some snow? Anyway, <laughs> you might have to trust me, the fact that we're on, we're on the Malsk. And the way that I kind of do it is I use gamepad support, so I use all the gamepad settings, and then this is a uh, radio wheel for like all the numbers and some of the letters as well. And and for example, in the in the inventory, I I use when you go to inventory, I then use the right pad to emulate the mouse. And what I do is I if I press space, uh, sorry, press the middle of my um, pad it flips in around i think i've covered most bases the only thing the only difficult thing with this setup is the fact that you have to know the, the console controls but they're pretty good the daisy console controls um, and we get in 60 frames a second out of this just a show right. you might be able to can you see the ice in the distance so there we go so this is a Steam Deck. This is a 512, 512 gigabyte OLED model with a one terabyte uh, micro SD card in, running DayZ, um, modded DayZ on the mouse, um, no problem at all. So this is very, very exciting because I love playing DayZ on my Steam Deck. Um, it was just an absolute pain that you couldn't use um, mods. Or there is a workaround, but it used to be a bit complicated. So hopefully this will inspire a lot of people. Now, if this does inspire you and think, oh. 
I fancy buying a Steam Deck, please bear in mind that it is incompatible with lots and lots of games. So things like PUBG, Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty, because it's Linux based, especially games that use anti-cheat, they just, they just don't like it. So really bear that in mind. I should show you my settings actually first. Oh, wrong settings. Uh, there we go. Uh, so look, options, so graphics, video, I think we're on medium. Yeah, I think I have medium for basically everything. And that gives me a nice frame rate. So there we go. Steam Deck running mods. It's still a little bit janky. You will get the odd crashes and things not working. And as I say, you must, must, must be very, very careful about your storage. Because if you go on servers that have got you know some of these super massive mods, then you know, you're going to fill up your Steam Deck pretty quick. Um, but I will do other videos about that. Okay, if you enjoyed this, hit like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, I will see you again soon.